Hang tight, all you free users of ChatGPT. Soon you'll be able to use the Plus features for free. And if you're already on the Plus plan, this might give you a reason to cancel and save your money. This is all going to be happening soon. Let's get into it. There was a new article posted on the official Microsoft blog. This happened yesterday, and the title is Celebrating the First Year of Copilot with Significant New Innovations. In this video, we're going to go through the article. We're going to talk about Copilot's plan feature releases. We're going to see how that's going to give you ChatGPT Plus for free, or at least the features of ChatGPT Plus for free. And then we'll check out what is capable now with Copilot. And it can do more than you actually think. And this video might convince you to already jump ship and start using this other product. All right, if you don't already know, Microsoft and OpenAI have already teamed up. It became apparent how important this partnership is when Sam introduced Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, on stage during the OpenAI Developer Day keynote speech. And they talked about the future of Microsoft and OpenAI, especially with Copilot. It's been live for a while now. Copilot's been going. Bing Image Creator was a way to get access to Dolly 3 before it was available in ChatGPT. And a lot of the back end runs on Microsoft servers. So they start by talking about Bing Chat, which is a chat GPT UI within the Edge browser. It could already do a lot of the things that the Chat GPT Plus model can do, like search on the internet, shop, code, prepare for job interviews and create beautiful documents and images. So they slowly incorporated these capabilities into all the Microsoft 365 products, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also Microsoft Edge and Windows. But recently they brought all of this together and they launched Microsoft Copilot. So it's now accessible to anyone on any device. And we'll go through it in a bit. Its goal for Copilot is to make people more productive and faster overall in tasks like searching and writing. And for a lot of us, it helps improve their business. So in 2024, they're gonna beef up Copilot with all the features of ChatGPT Plus and make them completely free. That means GPT-4 Turbo. So that's the latest OpenAI model that you only get when you have ChatGPT Plus. GPT-4 Turbo is faster. It allows you to tackle more complex and longer tasks. I made another video on this channel about the context window and it's ridiculous. It's like 30,000 tokens. So it's saying that's currently being tested and it's going to be widely integrated into Copilot in the coming weeks for the rest of the users. Okay, you got the new Dolly 3 model, all those beautiful, amazing images that you've seen being generated all around the web. Soon that's going to be in Copilot completely for free. And Dolly 3 can do text on images and it's more accurate to the prompt than the previous Dolly models. A feature not available in ChatGPT+, but it's going to be unique to Microsoft Copilot, is in the Microsoft Edge browser, you can just select the text you want to change and ask Copilot to rewrite it for you. So it'll be something like me highlighting this and then a pop-up saying, do you want to rewrite this? Sure, it would rewrite that text. It sounds like Edge is really making a push in the browser scene. I wonder if it's going to be Chrome someday. And then it's adding GPT-4 Vision. Now Copilot already has a version of it. I'm going to play around with it. But in this example, it's saying Bing image search and web search data. It's going to use GPT-4 with vision and it's going to get a better understanding of your search queries. And let me zoom in on this GIF. Let's see what they're trying to show us. The example, the user inputs an image. When was this launched? And it looks like a rocket. And then it analyzes the image. It finds the rocket and the launch date. And it says it was launched July 14th, 2023. This GIF is a little blurry, but this is what I'm seeing. Another feature release is going to be Code Interpreter. We have that within ChatGPT+. It's going to enable you to perform complex tasks, such as calculations, coding, data analysis, visualization, math, which is very interesting, and more. And in this GIF, the user is asking the height of the giraffe and to make a multiplication against the square root of the weight of an elephant. And it's finding the average height, and then it's writing some Python script to do that calculation. Another feature is deep search. So it's turning your prompt, your Bing search prompt, and it's condensing it, it's contextualizing it, it's making it more concise, and then it expands your search into more comprehensive descriptions that hopefully gives more relevant results. Very creative way of using GPT-4. 
because a lot of times you don't really know what you're supposed to be searching for. So you can type in a bunch of words and GPT-4 is gonna figure out what your search intent is and then give you the best results that matter. At the bottom of the article, they have a bunch of prompts that have been inspired by the community that have already used Microsoft Copilot. You got some prompts for education, gaming, shopping, travel, culture and art, education, history. Let's see what some of these are. A travel one, what advice do you have for hiking and sightseeing in big four ice caves? You know, this is all stuff that you can do with ChatGPT already. I don't think there's anything special here. But the big news in this article are all the features being released in early 2024 that are the big features that you already get with ChatGPT Plus, and they're going to be available completely for free. So let's go to Copilot. And this is how Copilot looks right now. They give you a bunch of options to start. You can program code, you can make a joke, you can organize data into a table. So this is a little preview of Code Interpreter, but I would call Microsoft's Copilot right now, Chat GPT Free, which is Chat GPT 3.5 Turbo, with an added bit of spice, with a little more features. It's not the full plus plan yet. The article says it's gonna be released soon, but you do get a few extra features. And one thing I noticed, which is really cool, is this option right here at the bottom, add an image. Let's go to ChatGPT. So this is my ChatGPT Plus plan. And you'll notice in the bottom, there's a paperclip icon, which allows you to attach an image and have GPT-4 Vision interact with that image. This appears to be the same thing now available in Microsoft Copilot completely for free. I had a lot of viewers asking me for an image caption generator because they can't do that with the free version. You can do that here. So I'm gonna click this. Let's upload a photo from my computer and I'm gonna input, write an Instagram caption for this photo and include three relevant hashtags. So Microsoft Copilot is going to use GPT-4 Vision on this image and generate an output. Look, it's analyzing the image. They have this weird privacy blur which hides faces. That's fine, there's no faces in here. And look at this, it realized that it was a beach ocean Polaroid, perfect. And it wrote a caption for me. Wish I was here instead of studying beach vibes, ocean love, Polaroid memories. Previously, this was only something you could do with ChatGPT4 on the Plus plan. You can now do it for free with Microsoft Copilot. All right, so come check this out. It's available at copilot.microsoft.com. All you need is a Microsoft account. I use my Hotmail email address and it bumps you right into your own paid version of ChatGPT. Just a different UI, but it does the same thing. Have fun, peace.